And my question to you is how bad do you really want legs? You have to achieve failure. You have to take it that far. Nobody wants to go that far, it's too scary. But you know something, I got news for you. That's where winning is. It always has been. Nothing's changed since the 70s. Nothing, except people train not as hard. And think about the heart, the passion, the love, the commitment, and the energy you're willing to put into it. Exaggerate every motion. Higher. Never, never relax. Always think. Hey. fact that you're not talented enough. In fact, forget about genetics, to hell with genetics. Really, you know, I always tell people, you know, when I was a young man, I said that I will not be a victim to my genetics. I will not be a victim to my genetics. I don't care. Hell with it. My genetics will be a victim to me. That was my, my plan. And I, didn't, I didn't wait for it to come. I had to take action. I had to do something to get it. I had to go after it and embrace the heat, so to speak. But, you know, there's been a lot of tough days where I question whether this is what I should be doing. I have no fucking genetics. That's what makes muscles grow. Nobody fucking knows the secret. That's People don't want what's hard. They want what's easy, what looks showy. Forget about it. Go out there and fail. Go fail, go do it wrong. Get up, learn, and do it better. That's what the gym teaches you. People don't think, people think, oh, it's just the gym. The gym is life. See, even you know, and what I promised myself as a little boy, I said I can never leave the gym knowing I have 5% left. I own this place. This squat rack is mine. Nobody's gonna tell me when to go or when to stop but me. In fact, I'm gonna go further than I ever went before. Welcome to the pain zone is where we live. All right, now, now, five more, go for it, go for it, go for it, come on. Four, five, yes, 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 three more, 40. three more. Yeah! 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 Yeah!
bodybuilding. That's what it always will be. That's what it always has been. And people forgot. What does motivation mean? I think motivation may imply a lot of things to a lot of people. To me, motivation is hating to leave the gym. I mean, I hate to leave the gym and know inside me that I could have gave a little more. I hate to know that I gave up. I hate it so bad I'll never do it. I don't care if I'm sick and thrown up in the gym. I'll keep going so I can leave the gym and go, I did it, I gave. The aspect of being totally spent. You're giving it everything you have, you little more. That makes me feel good about me. And that is really what motivates me to a large degree. you give up on your dreams, if you give up on your dreams, what do you have left? <laughs> Nothing. I can't live that way. I can't live that way. I have to live on the edge. Your total being, every bit of inner person into your training to this day, you feel good no matter what. Somebody's stabbing knives in you. I remember laying on the floor going, I feel like somebody was stabbing knives in my quads. I used to lay there put the towel over my face. My training partner was saying, people were thinking, people thought I was dying. Well, no, he's okay, don't worry about him. After about 10 minutes, one more set.